Hey everybody, welcome. It's Dr. Brown from KNS Chiropractic, your Baltimore area chiropractor. Today, we're gonna to show you how we treat somebody with foot pain, plantar fasciitis. Okay, we have Ramona here. Ramona, tell them what's going on. Well, I came in probably in March and waited entirely too long to get here because my foot was pretty pretty bad. The pain was throbbing. It was going up into my heel. Um, I knew the signs because I had it in my right foot and uh, back in the 90s and I actually had surgery on that and several quarter zone shots and I certainly don't want to go through that again. So I came to Dr. Brown and he is so far um, doing a really great job of easing this heel pain. Okay, so she came in a few weeks ago, what, two and a half, three weeks ago, something? About three weeks now. And she's getting ready to go on vacation. We needed to make sure that she'd be in good shape for this. So you were in a, a lot of pain. Yeah, really bad. Like taking ibuprofen all the time, really not doing anything. But what Hard to walk, to, hard to get hard. out of bed in the morning. Yes. Like what was your worst symptom? Uh, getting out of bed in the morning, I just limped for, uh, you know, until it loosened up a little bit. Um, I was, I used to walk in the neighborhood, couldn't do it anymore. The, the pounding on the pavement just felt like a knife going into my heel. So. How much better are you? A lot better. A lot better. Um, first of all, the main thing is in the heel, um, I am not getting that stabbing pain even when I'm off my feet. And now I just, um, I can walk a little bit. I'm starting to add a little bit of walking into my daily routine. And uh, uh, Dr. Brown got me some orthotics, had me fitted for orthotics, which have been amazing as well, along with his treatment. All right, so look, I'm gonna show you how we treat this. Last week you saw we treated somebody with dry needling. That's not what we're doing to Ramona. With Ramona, we're doing three different things. We already had her on electrical stimulation, which we use to relax this tight tissue down here and reduce some of the inflammation. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called uh, some manual muscle work to strip these tissues down. Then we adjust her foot to get mobility and we do what's called cupping. And cupping is used to help lift these layers of the tissue away from one another to take the pressure off of there. So let me explain to you a little bit about this. Now come on over here. So I'll show you this as we work on her foot here. Now let me, come here. So when somebody has plantar fasciitis, your symptoms are gonna be pain in the bottom of your foot. Most people complain about pain in the heel, pain along the arch, especially when they get up in the morning. Their first few steps are really bad. And then as the day goes on, that usually loosens up unless they've been sitting around for a while and then they go to get up again, they start to feel the pain. When it gets out of control, the pain is there most of the time. So with plantar fasciitis, that is inflammation that develops along this area. There's a thick band of tissue that runs from your heel to the bottom of the toes. When this tightens up, when this gets irritated, inflammation builds up in there. So why does it happen? It happens when you start to lose, when you get too much uh, mobility into this arch. So on a normal person, your foot should be supported. You should have an arch. When you wear good shoes, it comes up and it supports that arch. What happens as your shoes get older, you start to wear flip-flops during the summer. This is why we see this a lot in the summer. There's no arch there. So this tissue is constantly flexing back and forth. When this does this without being supported, you start to develop micro tears, you get inflammation, and it develops a lot of pain. So we, we uh, ordered Ramona orthotics, which help come support this area when she's on her foot. So now when her foot moves, there's not as much flexion in there and it allows this to start to heal up. So what we're gonna do to her is we're gonna do what's called some manual therapy. We're gonna get in here, we're gonna break up some of these tissues and this is a little painful. But what we're trying to do is trying to strip down these muscles and break this stuff up. And under my fingers, I can feel like crunchy things, that's, that's inflammation, that's scar tissue that's built up along this arch into the heel and into the front of the foot. Does it hurt? It's sore, but I'm okay. It's, uh, it's very weird, it's kind of like a good hurt in a way. But the problem with plantar nerve fasciitis is if you leave this alone too much and you don't treat it, it has a really hard time going away on its own. So, the main thing is, 
when you do start developing pain into this bottom of this foot and this heel, and you've taken whatever, your ibuprofen, and it's not going away, you got to get treatment on it, and you got to do it quick. Because after 21 years, what I can tell you is that the longer this sits, the harder it is to go away. So we're getting in here, and we're breaking up some of this tissue that lays in here this abnormal tissue and it hurts and it doesn't feel great. We already had it on electrical stim and we put that on the bottom of the foot and that relaxes everything. And now we're getting in here kind of hard and working this. We're trying to break down all this scar tissue that's built up along this arch. By doing this, this is gonna allow better mobility into the foot. It's gonna push out some of that inflammation, allow a better exchange of fluids so then this arch and this tissue can heal. This fascia is a covering of white tissue that holds the muscles and everything into the foot. It's If you've ever gone to the food store and you got a junky piece of meat, not junky, but you know, like a, a brisket or something, and they have that layer of, uh, of hard, not hard, but, but that white, thick tissue that holds the meat together, it's very tough, that's what's here. And what happens is you're developing inflammation in between these layers of the tissue. So when I'm done this, we're gonna cup her foot. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna help pull these layers apart. By pulling them apart, it helps decompress that area, helps decompress the nerves that are being pinched, and it'll help her. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the foot. So we will show you how to do that. Just a couple more here. I know she's dying, but I'm getting in here real tight. Okay. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Hurts, but it hurts, but I know it's. I know that when I walk away, it It'll feels be worth a lot better, and it's worth a little bit of discomfort that I'm going through right now. Okay, so these are the cups. Now show this. So what this is going to do? This creates suction. It's going to help pull these layers apart. So we're going to go along this whole arch here, and hopefully these things will hold. Get one there. Get one down here, and this is pulling these tissues apart. And this helps to decompress that area and free up those nerves that are in that area. And it's gonna make her feel a lot better as it's been doing. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna leave her on here for about five minutes. I'll be back, I'll show you how we adjust the foot and uh, we'll take it from there. So we just took the cups off of Ramona. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust her foot. We wanna make sure everything stays nice and mobile in that area. The better the bones, move in her foot, the less chance the inflammation has to build up and the less chance the scar tissue is going to build up. So we're going to try to mobilize this by adjusting the forefoot, the bottom of the heel, and in between these interosseous bones in the foot. So let's do it. Okay, just kind of hold on for me. So we're going to adjust this. Good. So great release there. Did you feel that? Yes. Okay. So we're just going to try to get some mobility into the foot. We don't have to be so aggressive. We separated all this, we separated this, so things should move. The heel moved nicely, so that was good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this activator. It's an adjusting instrument, and this will help. Can you see this now? And this will help to just break up some of this tissue and get a little bit of mobility into all these bones. So what, we, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go across all these bones in the foot and between these ligaments here, Try to mobilize this so things move well. Okay, good. Here's that, Ramona. So look, Ramona's getting ready to go away. Hopefully she'll do well on vacation. She's feeling really good right now. With the orthotics that uh, we got her, should give her some good support. I gave her some tips and exercises and things to do at home. One great thing if you're having plantar fasciitis before you see anybody, if you'd like to do this, it's a great idea. Take a water bottle, freeze it, rub your foot over the bottle like this, and see if you can break up some of this abnormal tissue. You can do it three or four minutes. You don't want to irritate it. Shouldn't be painful, but you will feel it, and you want to try to get some mobility in there. See if that works before you see a doctor. If not, you're in the Baltimore area, you're having foot pain, come and see us. So look, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Go to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button. Please leave a comment and we'll see you next week for another video. Thanks.